I'm Stephen Ireland. I'm the founder of Pride in Surrey, Surrey LGBTQ Pride CIC. Now, whilst there are some factors that affect happiness out of our control, uh, well, there are other things that we can potentially do to get us back up on good track and feeling those good vibes. So here are 25 tips in the next five minutes that will hopefully get you back on track. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm sitting here with face cream on and sipping me a cup of coffee as well, that's one of my ways of just kind of chilling out and relaxing. In a video coming up, we will be talking about how you could potentially get away on holiday without actually going there. Yes, hypnosis is a thing that you can do to yourself literally by listening to some certain things that will take you on a journey and remind you of holidays and things in the past. So the first thing that I would always recommend somebody to do is crack up the tunes, right? So get your favourite tunes on and blast out your favourite songs for a good five or so minutes. Honestly, that for me is absolutely incredible. The second thing I would say is write it down. Uh, did you know that taking time to write down three positive things each day will help make you feel more optimistic and less stressed? And yes, there is an app for that as well. Go and type in three positive things in the App Store or Google Cloud, etc., and you will find something that will store your three words a day. If you don't want to download an app, why don't you just get the notes up on your computer or literally get it on your phone and just type down your three words. Text it maybe to somebody, three positive words. Again, then you can share that with somebody that you love and you care about. The next thing is getting outside. And of course, uh, what many of us feel like we've been locked up and cooped up inside. Um, the weather's started to get better now. Get outside for a few minutes of fresh air. And of course, make sure that you're getting that vitamin D. Now, if you do suffer from vitamin D deficiency, make sure that you are taking suffice medications to add to your vitamin D levels. There are really good sprays out there at the moment that they're selling, okay? Uh, my next tip would be pets. If you've got your pets, get them, stroke them, cuddle them, make them feel loved. Uh, I've got cats and it's absolutely fantastic and they do make me smile. And of course, the purring of a cat most definitely aids to a soothing mind. Walk it out. Did you know a 20 minute brisk walk gets the heart pumping and definitely decreases stress? It's true. Make a statement. So with your accessories, a bold statement, a necklace, your too cool for school shades, or maybe your favourite trainers or something like that. Because those kind of things, again, will make you feel great. Dressing up for the day, even if you're not going somewhere, will make you feel good. Give yourself a boost, and I'm not talking about a chocolate bar. Healthy nutrients. Uh, so we're talking fruit, veggies, protein. When your body feels good, your brain will follow. Nice fish. If you like a fishy dish, then get some fish, get some rice, get some nice vegetables, get a nice cooking sauce and, and away you go. Good food will most definitely soothe you as well and make you feel better. Leave yourself a note and leave a note for somebody else. So, for instance, if you're at home and you've got other people at home, leave a note on the fridge or on a door or something. And it could be anything. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're incredible. You're not alone. We're here. Whatever it might be, leave a note. And if some, or write it in the mirror. That's a good one. I like doing that, writing it in the mirror. Do like a RuPaul style esque kind of notes. But honestly, do something really nice. And if you have not got nobody at home, why don't you leave a note for somebody next door and see if they will do the same thing? Pop it through the door. Make sure you are keeping to all regulations for the government guidelines of coronavirus. Um, okay, the next thing, do something, whether it's sending an email, clearing the clutter out of your dining room, uh, getting one of them tiny little things off your to-do list. Achieving something most definitely makes you feel relieved and makes you have that sigh of, ah, I've done something good. So give it a go. Say thank you. Even if it's a small act of gratitude, that most definitely does boost your positivity now of course i've been recently saying thank you to people for, for doing amazing things during lockdown of course that just feels so good it's better to say somebody to somebody thank you the next thing i would say number 10 or well, number 11 actually number 11 for me um learn something new so it it could be about a language je ne sais quoi 
Kunzi uh, Kansa. <laughs> Whatever. You know, it could be anything. Like, that was my French. That was my attempt. Um, but it could be that. It could be playing an instrument. So maybe if you are a music lover and you've always wanted to give it a go, why don't you give it a go? Um, there are pilot type simulators. There are video games. Do you know what I did during lockdown? I started playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I'm telling you now, I'm quite good at it. But I quite enjoy it because I'm getting to socialise with people that are online that potentially have uh, the need to speak to people. It's really, really nice, really be a being able to do that. So, yeah, give that one a go. Give it a go. Right. Uh, the next one, obviously, is very difficult at the moment. Money is very, very uh, tight for many people. But if you do have money, uh, try giving to charity or giving to a good cause because that will then increase uh, that feel good spending money or buying something that you know that you've needed for a long time if you've got that little bit of extra cash in the pocket but if you haven't and you're struggling with money talk to somebody talk to your friends talk to your family don't be ashamed everybody's stuff, uh, having a difficult time at the moment there are people out there that can support you financial health um and you know financial uh, difficulties can most definitely significantly impact mental health and uh, well it's just Good to know that there are a number of government schemes out there that will support people, especially because of the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, a couple of things that uh, off the top of my head that I know about, obviously, there are things like defaulting and uh, obviously going bankrupt. But there is something now called an IVA. An IVA is a fantastic scheme that uh, is there to help you eradicate any significant debts. If you are struggling with debts, then go and find out more information about that scheme because that scheme can potentially erase a significant amount of that debt and put it into a monthly manageable payment. So do check that out because if you are stressing about payments and money and things, then it's really important that you get some uh, some, some advice. And also just a reminder that throughout Surrey County Council, there are a number of other services available. And of course, you can check them out at surrey.gov.uk. And also the Citizens Advice Bureau are available too. The next thing I would say is text a friend. If you've got a few text messages left in your plan, uh, reach out to a pal, reach out to an old colleague, somebody there. Just say, hey, similar to the note, you are awesome. You're loved. You, you, we miss you, whatever it might be. But just drop them a text. Check in, check in on somebody as well that you might not have checked in on for quite some time. Mm. Oh, I do like a nice coffee. Uh, chocolate mocha. That is my favourite. So if anyone wants to buy me one, I'll have a mocha. Um, and this cup is available at surreyshop.co.uk. It's a, a, a colour changing mug depending on heat. So uh, when you put your hot drink in, it goes up to rainbow. It's about really, really good. Surreyshop.co.uk. And the shop is opening on the 12th of April uh, in person. There's a 10% voucher available if you want to go and shop. Um, the next thing is make plans. Now, obviously, as we're coming out of lockdown, um, potentially you could start looking at putting things in the diary. Start making some plans, even if it's just to grab a coffee somewhere, uh, go out for a walk in the park, um, or if there's a show or something like that that's coming up that you know potentially will be out of lockdown. Get booking, get looking. Let's see if you can then start to feel good and start to get in the swing of things. Uh, help somebody is the next one. Uh, if you're feeling down, one of the quickest ways to pick yourself up is actually doing something kind for somebody else. And I mentioned that earlier on with making a donation potentially um, to a charity it's similar. But it could be anything. It could be that you're down the road um, and you notice somebody struggling with their bags, give them the hand. It could be that uh, you're in the queue of uh, a shopping centre and you notice that somebody's not got 20p. You know, popping that 20p over to them and say, hey, oh, look, it's 3p. Whatever it might be, do something good to make somebody feel good. Um, because bonus feel good points uh it's random uh, and unexpected most definitely boost my day and, and get me through it um the next thing is smiling smile 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 always smile because smiling is like an outward thing but you know you get it back it's so nice to be able to smile at somebody and then for them to smile back uh, really really powerful um and quite addictive actually when you see somebody like everyone's kind of smiling away. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, right, have you heard of power colour? Well, we love orange in this house. And like a mustardy and gold and bronze and stuff. Um, but did you know that um, if you've got a favourite colour, if you pop that favourite colour on, 
and maybe if you've got colour bits of card or something like that, just pop them in places around the home. If you see that colour throughout the day, it will help improve your mood. There we go. Top tip, colour. Bold powers the mind. Bold colours power the mind. So um, me, I always wear black. It's slimming. But if I'm really feeling down, you'll know, because I will put something on potentially that has maybe a bit of colour or I will have bits of paper or something around or even just my desktop on my computer or the screen um, of the TV, just have it in that bold colour or maybe put my bright lights on behind me. I've got some uh, rainbow lights, just putting them on, whatever it might be, put them on, do it because then that colour will then get you through the day and, and motivate you. It's really nice. Um, the next thing is treat yourself. So I'm treating myself to a coffee and I've got me face masky type thing on just to kind of clear my skin and beautify me and everything like that. Oh God, I think I need more, more, more cream. But um, a little bit of luxury goes a long way, most definitely. Um, read something. If you're a bit of a reader, maybe go and get your guilty pleasure book out. It might be a little bit of Fifty Shades of Grey. It could be something nerdy like a comic or something like that. I mean, I love a good comic. Uh, Walking Dead, um, absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, looking through that, um, picking out some of the things that I've got in the cupboard that I haven't looked at for ages and just looking through it, you know, reminisce really um, on some of the good things and good reading materials. Maybe pick up something that relates to your sexuality or gender as well, you know, so that you can get to understand more of the LGBTQ plus community. There are a number of books available at sorryshop.co.uk, sorryshop.co.uk. Come and check them out as well at the shop on the 12th of April. Pleasing that, isn't it? Um, the next one, cute overload. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, seeing something cute makes us smile, which turns out to make us happier, basically. Um, the cute emergency Twitter feed is available. And this you are going to love. Literally, it's all about um, cute, cuddly, fluffy, all sorts of things. Um, go and just just go and type in uh, cute and fluffy uh, on Twitter and you will see that there are amazing um, Twitter feeds. Not just that one, but there's many. Um, just go through, look at the kitties, look at the dogs, look at the little cows and all that. It's just, it's just incredible. Um, and I suppose my last one, because I've done... 25 now. My last one, though, would be think positive. No matter how bad things may seem, be grateful, okay? Warm water on a cold day, amazing. Cold water on a warm day, incredible. You're really lucky and when you when the times are hard, we know. We know. But we can get through. Whatever it might be, we can get through. Be, be sure to check on each other. Be sure to remain positive and be sure to think now towards the future. All of us have lost somebody or know somebody that's been lost to coronavirus and throughout this year it has been most definitely a challenging one. But we've got work to do here at Surrey LGBTQ Pride CIC. You've got work to do there by just smiling, being happy getting through and joining us at those events and of course making sure that you know that you are not alone so if you need to talk text talk to double eight double four zero that's talk to double eight double four zero text a charge at your standard rate please ask permission from the bill payer before you text all your replies will be included in your text bonus messages in your plan Doo -doo -doo. I'm talking, I'm waffling. Right, anyway, they were all my top tips for making yourself feel a little bit happier. I hope you loved it. And of course, please do check in with me soon because we will be going on a little bit of a holiday. Yes, a holiday in the mind. Be prepared, be ready. And remember, you are not alone. Hi, my name's Bethany Rose. Um, I'm a spoken word poet and I talk a lot about what it feels like to have mental health issues, to not feel yourself, to feel sad and to feel alone. Um, I know that sometimes it's really difficult to reach out 
that Pride in Surrey are offering a service um, where you can text, just text TALK to 88440 and there'll be somebody on the end of the line to help you with whatever you need. Um, and we all want you to remember that you are not alone.